Your geography homework today is to watch this presentation and help you to find out a bit about the different types of plate boundary. It's really important that you pay close attention to what's being said as well as what's on the screen because that will help you to complete your first task in your next geography lesson. There are three main types of plate boundary. Convergent boundaries, divergent boundaries which are also known as constructive boundaries, conservative boundaries and they're also known as transform boundaries and these are our three main types. However, convergent boundaries there are three subgroups. The first but all convergent boundaries have two or sometimes more plates moving towards each other. The heavier or more dense plate will often slide below the lighter plate. This causes a number of things to happen. As a heavier plate slides underneath, it causes friction, which heats the plates to extraordinary temperatures causing melting. This melting is known as subduction. The other thing that this does is as the plate slides underneath, its movement is never smooth. This will cause juddering and vibration of the earth and we'll see earthquakes. Other earthquakes are caused at subduction zones by movement of magma. And what happens here is the melting plate causes a build-up of magma in the Earth's um, mantle. This magma then starts to make its way to the surface through the crust. This movement of magma will also cause earthquakes. As the magma moves up to the surface, it forms a volcano. At these subduction zones, which is how we might call these points, there are earthquakes and very violent volcanic eruptions. A common type of this convergent boundary is on the Pacific coast of the North and South America, including uh, the coast around Mount St. Helens in Washington state, which had an incredibly violent volcanic eruption in the early 1980s. The second type of convergent boundary happens where you have oceanic crust meeting oceanic crust. these locations we still get subduction, we still get strong earthquakes and violent volcanic eruptions. This type of plate boundary will lead to the formation of what we call island arcs. Islands are formed by the erupting volcanoes and eventually they breach the surface of the sea. And also, This will often lead to a number of islands in a line, hence we call it an island arc. A famous example of this type of island arc is the Ryukyu Islands which are just off the coast of China in the East China Sea and lie south of Japan. The final type of convergent boundary, remember, where plates move together, is known as a collision zone. This is where we have two plates made of continental crust. There's not really any subduction, so there's no volcanic activity and there are few earthquakes. The most famous of these type of convergent boundaries is at the Himalayas. At this point, the Indian plate is pushing into the Eurasian plate and this is causing folding of the material that lies between. This sedimentary rock is pushed upwards, forming the Himalayan mountains. Because it's sedimentary rock, previously it was underneath a deep sea. Therefore, we are able to find fossil remains on the top of the Himalayas. So, our final convergent boundary, collision zone, very few earthquakes and activity. Our next type of boundary is a divergent boundary. At this point we have two plates moving apart. This creates new crust between the two plates. In fact it was this type of boundary that we eventually started to put two and two together and come up with a decent theory of plate tectonics. As you can see on the animation magma comes up from the mantle and fills the gap between the two plates. This leads to the development of volcanoes and volcanic islands, the most famous of which is Iceland. Our final type, type of plate boundary is our conservative boundary or transform boundary. At this place the two plates move alongside each other. They can either be moving in opposite directions or they can be moving in the same direction but at different speeds. 
No crest is created or destroyed. There are no new land 